What up YouTube, it's your boy Mem the Barber once again and yes I'm back with another video. Uh, in this uh, tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a mid draw fade. Of course the client had a little comb over going on. I'm going to be using some hair enhancement. Enjoy this video. Alright guys, so the way I create this uh, mid draw fade, I like to start in the middle working myself going down. So as you can see I'm going to create my first guideline using my wall detailers. <music> Okay guys, so now I'm using my wall shavers to bald out my client's head uh, beneath the previous line that I created. Okay guys, so the next step, I'm going to use my one and a half guard to create my second guy line. Now as you can see, the, the only reason why I wanted to start off with the one and a half is to make it much easier to do the fade and also to make it much easier to do the clip or overcome. <laughs> Okay guys, so the next step what I did, I did an open lever to create another guy line about half an inch. Okay YouTube, so the next step to this haircut, um, I'm gonna get rid of that bottom line. Now as you can see, I was closing the lever little by little. So now you're gonna see how the, the fade in the bottom line is starting to fade out. Thank you. 
guys, so now once we're done with the previous step, I did grab my 116 guard with an open lever. And as you can see, I'm gonna start to fade out with the line that I just pointed out with my pinky. And uh, you can see like, I'm not really digging too much in there, but I'm also flicking out to make it much easier, you know, and also to for the fade to stand out more. Okay guys, so after uh, doing with an open lever, you also want to close the lever little by little just to fade out uh, just the bottom lines or the dark lines that you can see. Um, and then from there, you know, it's pretty much repeating the same steps. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna use my number one guard with an open lever, and as you can see the dark lines, I'm gonna start to fade out with the open lever, closing it little by little, and you're gonna start to see how the fade is starting to come out. Guys, so now I'm gonna do a clip over comb technique. Now, just pay attention how the way I do the clip over comb. Uh, little some techniques that I do to make the the fade, you know, to stand out more and uh, just take out some of the heavy bulk. For this side, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, but all you got to do is repeat the same steps.
as you can see, I'm doing a touch-up work. Uh, for every haircut, it's always good to do some touch-up work, you know, so that way you can perfect your blend. You know, and just the blend to come out and, you know, just more cleaner, fresher, what you want to call it. But just know it's always good to come back and do some touch-up work. Okay guys, now you can see how the line is kind of darker. I did use some hair enhancement like I said in the beginning of the, in the video, but um, when I was doing the video, I thought I was recording the, the part where I was uh, spraying the, the hair enhancement, but uh, for my next video, I'll show you guys, but I do have it on my previous videos. And if you guys want to learn how to put the hair enhancement, just watch my uh, old videos and you will see how I was doing. Alright YouTube, well, this is the final cut, a mid draw fade, of course the guy had a uh, little comb over going on, but uh, if you guys end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, alright you guys, until next time.